As a kid grow up, I always like to design and build things. In the days when I grow up in China, there were limited things available. So I designed my own dress, toys, and even toys for cooking. I love to make and all fix things, solve problems. So my daughters call me Radazan's mom. So as a polymer and a material scientist at DuPont, I love what I do design and develop new materials to solve most challenging seating problems. DuPont and the company's experimental station in Delaware is the first place for many polymers, these including hard plastic, soft rubber, and then the synthetic fibers. Common things made of rubber are tires, seals, and gasket. I think you can all agree that rubber seals like O-rings, gasket are pretty common things. And you can find them in your local hardware stores and many places in your home. They are used to seal liquid, gas, and prevent leakage to maintain vacuum or high pressure, like in the instant part. Um, they are so common, yet so often unnoticeable until they are not working. One time or other, we have likely all dealt with a leaking faucet at home. While that can be frustrating, it is not certainly uh, detrimental. But what if it is used to seal something more dangerous or hazardous? Imagine what it's like to have a leak in an oil drill platform or inside a chemical plant a failure of tiny, seemingly simple things such as a seal could have a huge impact. I think many of you are probably like me, curious about how things work. What is the elastomer? Let's zoom in to the molecular level. So this is made of a whole bunch of flexible long string of molecules. They are flexible, so it can be stretched they are connected to a 3D network by knobs so that when you release the stretching, they bounce back. These strings and the knobs are the back skeleton of an elastomer. In the rubber material, many other ingredients will be added to achieve an enhanced mechanical aspect or many other special properties. It's just like a adding muscle and skin to build a human body. Different type of material construction from the strings, knots, to the muscles and skin lead to different final performance. In DuPont Carrots, we are pushing the boundary for seeding materials to develop seals that can keep working at extremely high temperature, that is 300 Celsius or 600 Fahrenheit plus, much higher um, than the oven in your kitchen, and with the most aggressive in hash chemicals you can think of. How do we do that? It is done by first designing the strong string and the knots. The strings in carrots are made of carbon and fluorine bond, which is one of the strongest single bond that means it can stand extreme high temperature and is chemically inert. Next is to tie up the knots. Like you are shoelaces, you can make double or triple knots to make them stronger. And through sophisticated chemistry, we found ways to make very strong multiple knots. And the last step is by adding unique materials we build up strong chemical muscles and skin around the skinny inert um, backbone. You can see it involves many chemistry, material science, and engineering. Work with an excellent team of experts like our Karas team. We developed many products that can be used in the most challenging environment. One example is used in the equipment for making inky integrated circuit chips for your computers or cell phones. Here, the chambers to make those chips are under extreme high vacuum. The temperature is hundreds of degrees and many aggressive and 
hazardous gases and plasmas are used. Our sealing material enables the high vacuum at high temperature with aggressive gas and plasmas. Another example is the seal used for oil drilling equipment under sea that is under extreme high pressure. It needs to be stand both high temperature deep down the earth and the extreme cold weather in Alaska. So I'm very proud to be a part of the solution at DuPont, making the world a better and safe place through material science. It is also very fun and fulfilling to see the things I involved to design solve the problems more than the toys and dresses I made when I was little. Thank you.